Hey everybody, today um, I had a, um, this is on the Fusion again, um, 2006, I had a, um, I noticed the left brake light was out again. It's been, uh, so it'll, it's been an ongoing thing evidently. Um, I got the bulb here. The bulb, the filaments are okay. You can see them in there. You can see there's a little bit of heat from the bulb. But really, the the part that's interesting, and I've, I don't know if you can see that, there you go. There's some arcing or something going on there. I'm not sure why. Um, don't know, don't know what the deal is with that. But I I've cleaned this with uh, my green my green Scotch Bright um, pad, and there's a little right here. There's a little uh, kind of I don't know if it's going to focus or not. There's a little notch, I guess, in the um, in that conductor right there. So uh, I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, in the socket here, you can tell just from over the years, it's I guess just having a a hot bulb in there it's turned dark and then you can kind of see down in there um, where that thing has been and it's done this multiple times and I'll you know I'll clean it and, and uh, uh, put it back in and put it back to work so what I'm gonna do here um, is take some I've got some sandpaper here I'm gonna try to get down in there and get that uh, black off of there um, and I probably need to, I'm going to try to get some dielectric grease as well uh, to put down in the socket. Um, and just seeing all this stuff turn black, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking maybe, maybe some LED bulbs might uh, be beneficial here if I can keep them from doing the fast blink. So um, I'll clean this up and we'll see how it does. It's not going to work. Let me see if I can fold this. I can just get a piece of it. I need it to be uh, pretty, pretty narrow to get down in there. Oh yeah, there we go. That feels like it's doing something. Uh, okay, I'm not doing anything. I'm sand sanding the plastic. All right, uh, have a screwdriver. Let's see if I can do something with that. I don't know, this just may be a futile effort. this is going to work or not. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm doing anything. Let's see. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know what the cause of this is. Um, other than just a bad connection, I guess. Like a, hmm, I wonder if I have something. I wonder if I have something more, more pointed I can get down in there. Hmm. Let me let me look. I'll come back. I found. Uh, I have my Napa um, picks here, and I got got this straight one. So I'm gonna try that. Um, see what I can. I don't know if this will do any better, but at least I can get down, um, get down in there and try to get that black off of there. Maybe. Let's see here. Oh, there we go. That's looking better. There was some kind of, I don't know what that was. 
some kind of, I don't know if it's a piece of plastic or something, but it did come off with that. <laughs> cool. I think, I think we might be doing something. Let me just scrape these others real quick. I don't know, can you, let me get close, closer up. Yeah, you can see down in there. Um, so, right, you can see a little discoloration. Um, right in there and there was kind of and it corresponded with the um, I guess this was this way but that you see that little dark you can see that kind of dark band on that conductor that that corresponded with the uh, with the little black spot right in here so maybe there was something in there that was causing a uh, like a high resistance connection in there which was causing heat to build up which is melting the base of the bulb there and other problems so see I don't have any dielectric grease yet um, I'm trying to think if I have I have some I can put some spray lubricant in there some WD-40 or something. I'll do that. All right, let's give this a shot. See what happens. Yeah. Probably more than enough, actually. Too much. Okay. I'm even, I guess I'm even going to put this right back in the way it was. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, definitely need to get some dielectric grease. Oh, there's some more stuff came off of there. Yeah, I, uh, I have some family. I'm, um, I'm up in the um, north central Alabama area, and uh, I have family in South Florida. And one of my uh, one of the neighbors down there, uh, you know, they have all the salt air on everything, and he is a huge proponent of putting dielectric grease on these connections. And I, you know, I, I agree with him. Of course, I don't know if this if this I don't know if this was a just a bad loose connection here causing that um, I don't know if dielectric grease would have made any difference probably not if there was arcing still got some still got kind of a a uh, little ridge there bump there I can get I'd like to get that smooth if I can Let's see. Let me try now. See what this does. That feels a little better. Let me do a little more. Do a little more on there. Oh yeah, feels better. Let's see if I can. There's still a little black on there, but the the ledge is the little notch is gone, and I can kind of I can kind of see starting to see the metal shining through there. I don't know if that it might be. Make sure I got a good piece of sandpaper here. This seems like an awful lot of hassle for a brake light. Who am I kidding? This is a lot of hassle for a brake light. Get all that out of there. Hmm. I guess that... Yeah, I guess that'll work. There's... Man, if this thing happens, if this does this again, I don't know what. I don't know what. Okay, let's plug this in here. Wipe 
wipe some of this off. Extra. Okay. So we'll go the same way in. But it definitely not having just a dry socket there, that definitely goes in a lot nicer. Which would be another I guess put something in there if you don't have dielectric grease some uh, WD-40 would be okay and that's there's not any moisture problems here so I don't guess that would be an issue just hope it doesn't gum up and make this thing not hard to get out in the future but hopefully we won't have a problem let's uh, let me pop this back in here I'm gonna use the camera here as a light there we go let's see Ooh. Let's see if we can get that thing it's always kind of tricky let's see there we go nope where's the big I'm trying to there we go where's the big let's see the big the big notch goes down where's the Where's the big notch on this? There. Okay, so that needs to go that way. Uh, there. Ha ha. Cool. All right. I'll give that a quarter turn. Feels like it's in there. Looks like it's in there. All right, uh, let me come over here and we'll test them out. So the brake light um, is also the turn signal, uh, but I can push, let's see here. Boom, there you go. Nice, so that works. And uh, it's also, let's see, where's the, wow, okay, let me turn the hazards off. There we go. Yeah, so it's, we have them both going. Awesome, okay. Turn this back off. Sorry for all the crazy camera stuff going on here. Uh, so uh, I guess that's it. Um, might have to revisit this if it happens again. It seems like it's like twice a year that this happens, but maybe that'll fix it. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll try to have some uh, interesting things going on. I have on this car, I have some other work I'm going to do. Uh, I did a oil change. That's pretty normal stuff, but I've got a um, PCV valve that I'm going to change. Couldn't find a lot. I, I couldn't find any videos um, on that job for this car. I found a um, seemed like a forum post or something about it, but it wasn't real clear either. So I'm going to do a video for that. It shouldn't take very long. Um, and then what else? A coolant flush. Uh, I may do, I thought probably do a video on that too. Um, just because again, there's doesn't seem to really be that many videos out there on it, at least not for, this is a V6 3.0 V6. So, uh, maybe that will be beneficial to some of y'all. So anyway, I appreciate you watching.